All right, so now we're on our workbench. We're gonna grab ourselves a servo and a potentiometer. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use the potentiometer to control where the servo angle is. So we're gonna wire up this circuit really quick. And so what we'll do is we'll use the input from the potentiometer to control the output angle on the servo. Okay, so essentially what we have is we've got our ground cables connected into the ground rail. We've got our power um, from the servo connected into our 5 volt VCC. And then we've got our signal, which is this white servo cable connected into pin 9, which is a PWM digital pin. And then we've got our potentiometer. We've got one side of it plugged into ground. We've got the signal line, which is the middle leg that's plugged into analog zero. And then we've got the last leg, which is plugged into five volt power. And then power is connected to power, ground is to ground. It's good to just check your circuit, make sure everything's wired in correctly before giving it power. So now that our circuit is wired up, what we're gonna do is move over to the computer. We're gonna get ourselves a new patch. So I've already set up one called Tutorial 2. I'm just gonna write all my code for today's tutorial inside of Tutorial 2. And what you'll do is you'll click anywhere on the patch, type the letter I, and we're gonna look for servo, since we have a servo in here. And so you can see there's a lot of different features that pop up when you go into the servo or the search menu and type in servo. We're going to do the same for potentiometer. So what we can do is bring up the search menu and bring in a potentiometer. And then once we've got those two things here, they land on top of each other. We, we just want to zoom in on the two that we've got. So essentially what we want to do is we want to take the value from the potentiometer, from the knob, and we want to connect it to the output value of the servo. So now that we link the output from one as the input of the other, we can go and configure both of these directly. So let's go ahead, we've got our potentiometer um, open right now. We'll go down to our inspector. I'm just gonna leave the name alone. If you wanted to give it a custom name, you could type it in next to this flag. We've got a potentiometer on an analog zero. And then what we wanna do is we want to um, leave the value alone, we'll just get a value when we turn the knob. We'll leave the UPD to continuously. Now we can do the same for servo. In servo, what we want to do is we've got it connected to pin 9, and that is all set. So once you've got that all complete, you can go up to deploy, and we'll upload Arduino. Let's give the board some power. Go ahead and give this some power upload Arduino, and then we're going to make sure we've got the UNO selected, we're on USB, hit upload. Alright, so now we've got some things spinning here, we've got this potentiometer going, so we can increase the speed, we can change direction, For a continuous um, servo like this, um, you're really only going to get speed control out of it. What I'll do is I'll bring in another type of servo which you can control angle, and we should be able to control exactly where the servo is sitting. So right now we've got, as we're turning this knob here, on the potentiometer, we're basically just controlling direction and how much current is going to this servo. So you can see now we've got it switching directions. And so that's how easy it is to set up a servo and a potentiometer using the Zode IDE. So I highly recommend going in and checking it out. Download it. It's free online. If you go to xod.io, you can download yourself a copy. Whatever operating system you have, they've got pretty much every distribution up there. And you can play around with this yourself. I'll be right back in a few seconds with a different servo, and we're going to test that out. All right, so I'm back with a uh, with a uh, angular servo. It isn't continuous, so we should be able to control the position um, based on what the potentiometer is set to. So I'm just going to disconnect the power here. What we'll do is we'll swap this guy out. Same connections, 
and we will put the second servo in here and so we just want to make sure we plug it in correctly we've got ground then we've got voltage and then we've got signal plug it in like that and then I'm gonna just put on this piece here so we can see the rotation and this is what you would connect to whatever prototype you're making um, that's the attachment point all right so just leave that like that give it some power and now when we rotate this dial you can see that we've got complete control of the angle of this servo based on the type of servo we're using so we've in the first example, we had a continuous servo where we had speed control. This type of servo, we have position control. So. Something to consider when you're working with servos is make sure you choose the right type of servo for your application. And just really depends on what you're trying to accomplish with the servo whether speed or position is more of a priority, or if even this circuit is the right way of going about your solution. Okay. So yeah, you can see that this was really simple to set up. We've got our two different types of servos here. And in the next segment, I'm gonna go over how to set up an ultrasonic distance sensor to measure distances with the Arduino using the Zode ID. So stay tuned for tutorial number three. So if you like this tutorial, please click the like button below. Leave a comment if you have any questions. And don't forget to check out the Zode software. It's xod.io. And for more information about Learn Robotics, visit learnrobotics.org. This has been Liz from Learn Robotics. See you in the next tutorial.